we own and operate um, 17,000 megawatts of generation. We have about 3.5 uh, million electric customers. You know, we're the number one wind energy generator um, in the country, and we've held that mantle for the last, last 11 years. Excel's always wanted to be a leader in, in wind. Let's do the most we can. So we always want to bring more and more on. Back in 2008, the wind power started going up. That's great, all right, we'll turn off some of our coal plants down and gas plants down, really make room for that wind and bring it in. Well, if you guys don't know, on a wind turbine, once it gets about 55 miles an hour, or maybe a little more than that, sometimes they clutch. When they clutch is they stop producing power. Well, when you have about, about 1,000 megawatts of power going, and all of a sudden it goes away in 20 or 30 minutes, that's a lot to make up. We need a better way to do something. You know, we gotta know what, what's that wind's gonna do, be ahead of it, really to make some good decisions. So we partnered with uh, NCAR and NREL and got four to nine points per turbine. So thousands of turbines across three different regions, bring all that data in and feed it into a system that NCAR helped us build. Um, that system is the key to making great decisions. Uh, you can tell what the wind's coming up, you know, when it's gonna go down and really, really plan ahead. And behind that, uh, data quality, right? If you have all this data coming in, all this wind data, it's great for your forecast system, but if it's not high quality data, doesn't do you a lot of good. You get a bad forecast out of it. So our team put together some AF analysis behind there, teamed that up with some basic Pi notifications, it lets us alert and get out to those that data feed and get it fixed or correct whatever the problem is and do it real quickly before the business guy tell us, hey, this doesn't look right, we're, we're already ahead of it. A few years ago, we actually had one weekend where we turned a coal plant off. And we allowed it to go shut down, do maintenance on a weekend and not have to be up at all. We did that because we knew there was going to be wind on the system. There was trust in the IT system from the business users. They knew it was right, they believed in it, and they are going to go with it. Uh, and then this is last October, we actually, in our Colorado Territory, for a full day, we averaged 50% wind power to run our, run our whole system. So 50% of the wind, the power being used in Colorado was all wind-based. Five, six years ago, there's no way we could have done that. So out of that, some of our benefits, uh, reduce our error by 38%. That's huge. You know, if you know 38% error is gone, you make a really good decision. Right? Sometimes we look for one, 2% increases would be great. We went 38%. Uh, so out of that, savings and efficiencies, 46 million over six years.